Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Fox 5, the show that explores the wonderful world of Fox rehabilitation through an original list created by a Fox colleague. Today, I am joined by Fox occupational therapist and regional director, Gina Smarsh. Gina, welcome. Thank you for having me, Jim. How are you? I'm good. That's the first time that I said your new last name out loud. Wow. So crazy. I'm still not used to it. I am still not used to it. <laughs> because in the summer of 2021, Gina Ionello yeah. became Gina Smarsh. This is true. This is very true. Are you are you used to your new name yet? Not a little bit. So it's so, you know, a couple of things. When I see it written out, I, it's weird. I'm used to hearing it now. But when I sign an email or I sign a document, my signature is not quite there yet. Well, what I thought was crazy in the world of Fox Rehabilitation, we had two Gina Ionellos. Unreal. And both from New York and we're not related. Who would have thought? <laughs> Insane. But Same now but now we have one. We have one Gina Ionello and one Gina Smarsh. Yeah, now now we could be differentiated for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so Gina, today, what is your Fox Five? My Fox Five is five games that I use as an occupational therapist. All right. I like this. Because you can engage patients with games. Absolutely. I always thought to myself as an OT, if I'm bored, the patient's bored. So yes. we can use games, be creative. And you not know? that we would ever deceive patients, but you can deceive them into moving by playing a game. Absolutely. They won't even, at the, sometimes they don't even feel like they're doing therapy and yet they're getting a whole bunch out of it. So <laughs> for sure. <laughs> so Gina, what is number one on your Fox 5? My number one game is Jenga, which I use in so many different ways. Um, generally speaking, right, you got fine motor coordination, picking up those blocks, pinching, all of that fun stuff. But if you really get creative, depending on how you position the patient, you can get a whole lot more out of it. Do it standing, standing on yes. one leg. Move the game further away, right? Reaching out of their base of support. Lots of different uh, hand-eye coordination skills that go into just playing a good old Jenga. I love that you brought that up because I remember I when Jenga first came out and my grandfather came over and we wanted him to play and it was a new thing and he was resistant, but once he got into it, he loved it. Love that. I mean, it's really, some patients have never even seen it before, or they're like, oh, I see my grandkids play it. And that's a whole other thing too, the fun of using games. A lot of our patients do have grandchildren and now they can be the cool grandparent that knows this cool, <laughs> fun game, right? That they're playing. And not to brag, yeah. but I have not lost a game of Jenga in over 20 years. Whoa, yeah. sick. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. So what is number two on your Fox 5? Number two is a classic. Just a classic deck of cards, right? There's, I mean, I, dozens of games that come along with a deck of cards. My top favorite one, I would say, is Solitaire because there's lots of fine motor coordination that goes into it, a lot of visual scanning, having to look across. But I like to use it actually as almost an obstacle course where I'll set up the draw deck on one side of an apartment or a home and they got to walk to place it. And there's a lot of dual tasking that goes into it. You can make it a lot of fun. And that's comfort food, a deck of cards. Oh, absolutely. I, I mean, really, a, a lot of times I'll go in and I'll be like, hey, we're going to use a deck of cards today. And I'll let them dictate what game, who played poker growing up, who loves war, who loves, you know, all the different games, a mem classic memory game. Oh, options are endless. Gina, that brings us to number three on your Fox number 5. Number three is a little bit of a wild card. I don't know if you've ever heard of this one, but Bananagrams, ever heard of it? Of course. Oh, of course. It. It's like a kind of a spin on Scrabble a little bit, but Scrabble can have a lot of parameters, a lot of rules. Right, yeah, you, you don't need the board no. and you don't need to count up the points. Absolutely not. So <laughs> Bananagrams, right, are just simple letter tiles and you can use them for a whole bunch of things. Like I mentioned with the deck of cards, I can do a bunch of letters on one side of the apartment, walk over and make a word. Um, I've used it just standing. We're making like a, a freelance crossword puzzle. I'll set like a theme of, hey, all words that connect to food. And we're going to, you know, spell different words. It sets a little bit of a cognitive component to it. Fine motor. So many different things you can learn. Using your brain. You're pinching those oh, tiles. Yeah. I love it. That brings That's us right. to number four. Four Number on your four, one Fox of my five. personal favorites is categories. Love the cognitive components that go into categories, the attention, the focus. Very rarely am I using it in the traditional sense that we're writing out a list, 
But a lot of times as an OT, if I'm doing functional mobility, I'm saying, all right, we're going to pick a letter and I read off different categories to the patient and have them recite it back to me. So, hey, give me a baseball team that starts with the letter Y. Give me a food that starts with the letter C. Whatever it may be, and it has to then focus on functional mobility, safety, as well as the dual task cognitive component. Let's go to number five on your Fox 5. Good old Connect 4. Classic, classic. So this one, kind of similar to the Jenga, other ones that I've mentioned, the fine motor, right? It kind of simulates coin in hand translation skills. But what I like to do is when I have people that I'm working on, they have weak hands or any, anything related to their grip, I put the Connect 4 pieces in therapy. So they have to retrieve them out, use those hand muscles, and then they then get to play and place a little disc into the into the, what you, you call it? the you, game board. The game board, yeah. You yeah. just listed off the classics. Oh yeah. Oh, and yeah. I I love that they're being used in occupational therapy. It is so much fun. It, it's so like I said, if you're bored, they're bored. So I love to keep it interesting. They don't feel like they're doing therapy. Like you said, we never deceive anybody. There's justification as to why I'm doing it, but it doesn't really feel like exercise. Yeah. Gina, excellent Fox 5. Thank you for doing this today. Totally. Thanks for having me. Happy to share. So for Gina Smarsh, my name is Jim Shear, and we will see Jens later. Yeah.